So when you see standing in the holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. Matthew 24, verses 15 to 21. The prophecy's roots lie in the book of Daniel. It speaks of a desecration of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. This desecration would mark a time of great suffering. Jesus, drawing on this powerful imagery, used it to warn his followers of the trials to come. The abomination of desolation will herald the end times, a period of tribulation preceding the second coming of Christ. At this time, the Antichrist will exalt himself at the temple of Jerusalem. Then the bowls of wrath, the nuclear holocaust, will commence. And when that happens, all mankind will flee the cities for then they will know that the end is here.